carboxylic acid is a covalent molecule which contains the functional group called the carboxyl group. Molecular formula can be written and structural formula drawn from the systematic names of straight chain carboxylic acids containing no more than eight carbons. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to draw straight chain carboxylic acids. So from the name, we have to identify the prefix and we have to draw this many carbons together in a straight chain. For this example, we've got meth. Meth means that we've got one, so we'll just draw one carbon atom. On any end carbon, we want to complete the carboxyl group and the full structural formula. So we want a double bond O at the top of the carbon and an OH on the, uh, the left or right hand side of the carbon. And then we want to fill the rest of the molecule out with hydrogen atoms. Remember the valence of carbon is four, so you should only have four lines coming out of each carbon atom in your molecule. And this is us drawing methanoic acid. Here's the second example. We've got propanoic acid. So we have to identify the prefix as prop. Prop tells us we've got three carbon atoms, so we're going to draw those together. On any end carbon, I'm going to use the one on the right hand side. I'm going to complete my carboxyl group, so I've got my double bond OOH. And then what I want to do is fill the rest of the molecule out with hydrogen atoms. And this is how we draw propanoic acid. Pentanoic acid, the prefix is pent, which tells us we have five carbon atoms that will join together in a straight chain. This time I'm going to use the end carbon on the left hand side and I'm going to do my double bond OOH. Remember what we have to do here is we have to make sure that the O is bonded to the carbon and not the H. So be very careful with this. We then want to fill out the rest of the carbon atoms with hydrogens. Remember, each carbon should have four lines coming out of it. And this is how we draw pentanoic acid. So here are two examples for you to have a go at. I've given you the name. And if you want to have a go at drawing the full structural formula, uh, have a go at drawing the full structural formula with the carboxyl on the right hand side, because that's the answers that are going to pop up in the screen when you are ready. <laughs> The next part to this question asks us to draw the structural formula for butanoic acid. So remember, we have to identify the prefix. So that's but, which tells us we have four carbon atoms joined together. On an end carbon, we do our carboxyl group, which is our uh, double bond OOH. And we fill the rest out of the molecule with hydrogen atoms, making sure each carbon's only got four bonds. And this is how we draw the full structural formula for butanoic acid. This past paper question is from the National 5 2018 written 13C. The question asks us to draw the structural formula for the carboxylic acid produced in this reaction. Now, this is a problem solving question. What we can see is we've got diagrams and we have also a branch chained alcohol as the initial molecule that we're going to use and are wanting to convert. What we can see is in the example that they've given, the hydroxyl group of the alcohol changes to the carboxyl group. However, from a problem solving perspective, they have drawn the hydroxyl group on the left hand side of the molecule. Remember, we have to make sure that the oxygen is bonded to the carbon. So if we remove the two hydrogen atoms from the carbon, which contains the hydroxyl group and replace this with a C double bond O, this is how we would draw the full structure of formula for the carboxylic acid produced in this reaction. <laughs> 